Yeah, uh, shooting sh- two films in a pandemic. I mean, uh, shooting one film is tough enough, but then when they're intertwined, with, I think just uh, forgetting where you are in the story, you do a scene and it's like the last scene in the fourth movie and it's the end of the series. And then the next day you're shooting a scene very early on in the third series. I think it's just kind of keeping track of where you are. Like, is this the third movie or is this the fourth movie? Um, and then with the pandemic that comes with its own set of challenges. Uh, so, so yeah, there were lots of, there were lots of difficulties, but I think that it's good that we got to shoot them at the same time. And I'm glad that we got to shoot them now and we got to make them and work during a pandemic because now they can come out now, uh, instead of waiting years and then having them come out years later. And that would just be very annoying for the fans to have make like four years between movies. Well, what was really nice is because this is the third and the fourth movie, I feel very comfortable um, in her skin and stepping into her shoes now. And Anna's a close friend. So I never lost that lifeline if I needed it, you know. Um, I think, and and I think with, with COVID, there was a lot of, it was a much smaller set just in general so i so luckily i don't think it made it it didn't present itself as really a challenge Mm -hmm. she's a very inspiring person she's um like she's incredible she's an incredible conversationalist and she can talk to anyone anywhere about anything and like she's just she's so she's just an inspiring person and i think that um that that's that's something that i'm one of the things i'm really happy that i've gotten from these movies is is my friendship with her uh because yeah i'm just i'm happy to have her in my life (laughs) um because like you said it's a taboo thing and I think that the only way that you can decrease shame around a topic is by uh, opening up that topic of course and making people feel less alone. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I... I don't think so. You know, it's funny because these two characters both have very similar father problems and you would think that they would notice more. And I don't think they're aware of how similar like some of their problems are, the difficulties in life that they face. And I think I don't think she's really thinking about that. I think she's just got so much on her plate that uh, she's not trying to change him by example but i think she probably does influence him by example um yeah because i i i think that when you get to see a story in its entirety it's a lot easier to judge it and to form an opinion than if you have it there's a lot of people who I think, and this doesn't go for for this movie, this just goes in general, who like hearing about something and then forming an opinion without seeing it or watching a trailer and forming an opinion. I think you should watch something in its entirety before you can really judge it. (laughs) The last scene that I shot, it was either my end of the phone sex scene from after we fell or... (laughs) It was, I actually think it was a tiny little insert shot of me getting out of that bed in the same room from either the fourth or the third movie. Um, it's always a bit anticlimactic, the, the the very last day, because you don't usually in movie land shoot the last scene in the movie on the very last day. Usually you shoot some really minor stuff mm-hmm. um, and most of the sets are starting to get disassembled and everything. So it's kind of just this sad, like, like oh my god it's and you know it it's bittersweet the right way to describe it um but but yeah it's not yeah it did it did feel weird (laughs) 
their size and their passion and their positivity. I think that um, I, 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 anytime someone can be passionate about something, it doesn't matter what it is, if it's a movie or a book or, or, or just, you know, video games. I think that is so great because we need more passion in the world. And I think it's, an, and I love hearing people talk about the things that they're interested in. I find it really interesting. Um, and I just think it's something we should always cherish. Like, it doesn't matter why. It doesn't matter if someone else says you're silly. I I think it's wonderful. And just to have, to have people who love these books or who love these movies and who are just really genuinely, like, you know, a girl came up to me the other day at Ikea when I was with my friend. And she was so respectful and she just said, hey, I just wanted to say I love this and you were great. And she and it's moments like that where you just you're like, wow, it's um, yeah, it's a little it's a little magical. Oh, <laughs> well, we had we had wonderful costume designers on this, so I don't want to say um, Oh, what was my favorite? You know, I'm a very practical person. So my favorite outfit was probably the most comfortable one. It's probably like the pajamas or maybe jeans. And it, I mean, throughout the whole series, there's some really beautiful dresses in this series. Um, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, I mean, my least favorite probably just during the third and the fourth movie because it was very cold there was some stuff we had to shoot outside wearing like a mini dress and no pants and because of that i think by the end of it i just wanted to burn you know what i was wearing <laughs> i don't have a good answer there's just too many outfits i mean i i in the first movie a lot i'm wearing like six million outfits so that's tough Um, I think, uh, the, well, the people, the comfortability of like, because you become like a family and getting to come back year after year and like put their skin back on and go back into the role. There's something really nice about that. Um, I'm just going to miss telling their story and having these arguments and, and uh kind of i think being in her shoes but but i'm happy that it's it's done and that we've got to give like we, we've given the fans a sense of closure because it can't go on forever